a little after 10 o'clock here on a Monday morning. It is time to get the trailer unloaded. You guys just saw, we got the quad out, we got the 360, or actually, sorry, the limited uh, sprint car out of the race trailer, and it is time to wash. Now, I just recently did a wash day video for you guys, so that's not really what this is gonna be. We're really gonna be more focusing on how we wash our race trailer, because in that video, I showed you how we kinda do the sprint car, how we do the tires, the panels, and all that. Now, I'm gonna show you how we clean the inside of the race trailer in today's video, as well as we have a few things in the shop to do. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit lazy. I usually try to do all of this on Sunday, but I just woke up so tired after the races. I don't know what it was, so I decided to sleep in a little bit, get up, try to edit the video, make sure I put out some content for you guys for a Sunday afternoon. But we still have a lot more time this week to really get everything ready. Here's a look at the sprint car here. Rolled it in the trailer one piece after our 11th to second run at the Cottage Grove Speedway. And then we have this mess here in the back of the race trailer. So step number one, I need to get all of this unloaded, get it in the garage, get all the merchandise also in the garage. And then we can really start the process of how we clean the inside of the race trailer because everyone wants clean floors, clean cabinets, and then um, get it all dirty the following weekend. But definitely to start off 2020, we've had some muddy racetracks, some muddy pit areas that have really got this thing filthy. I got everything out of this back corner here in the race trailer. I'm gonna be washing this thing next. You also saw I took all the panels off of the limited sprint. My dad also just got home and we have one thing we kinda wanna show you in today's video. Remember I talked about how the engine got super hot at the end of the A-Main event? Well, we ended up pouring out a good amount of water and we're gonna find out right now about how much water we lost out of the radiator. How many ounces is that? 16. 16 ounces there in the first one? 16.9. 16.9. Oh, well, there's another 16.9 ounces. Not looking good. Not looking good. <laughs> so that's another uh, thing of water. Part two, we'll go get some more water. Number four. Five. Take three. Go get some more. There it goes. What is that? Almost six? So... You guys can do the math there, six times roughly 17, that's about 102 ounces of water we lost. You guys didn't see it, but when I was rolling across the scales, this thing was smoking and puking out a ton of water, so that's definitely a huge issue that we are gonna look at before this thing gets back on the racetrack. Now we're also gonna talk to our engine builder. The weird thing is it didn't do it at Coos Bay, it wasn't running hot really at all, and then for some reason towards the end of the A-Main event at Cottage Grove, it just got really, really hot, and on the long green flag run and whatnot, all that didn't help. So now real quickly, my dad decided we might as well drain the oil while we're outside. Just check it out real quick before we wash. What'd you say, what color you were looking for? Make sure it doesn't have water in it. Make sure it's not milky. Looks good. It's got some break in slime on it, but other than that, we're good. You wanna grab me a rag? Here you go. So that was a quick detour for today's video. I thought we were just gonna pour a little bit of water in the radiator and it'd fill right up. Did not realize we lost that much. Like I mentioned, that is not a problem we are gonna take lightly. We're really gonna look through some things and see if we can figure that out, especially since it didn't happen at Coos Bay and then it happened at Cottage Grove. One thing to mention, this really doesn't have a whole lot to do with our problem, but I do know that there were a few other limited guys that were running a little bit hot at the end of the A-Main event. But now we are gonna get back to today's video. I'm gonna show you guys how we wash this race trailer. 
Now the process for washing out the inside of the sprint car trailer is actually quite simple and easy. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sweep all the dirt here to the end. Then I'll go through with the blower and I'll blow out all the dust and anything I may have missed the first time. Then the next step in the process would be for us to wipe down the cabinets and the toolbox. Then after that, we will mop the trailer floor. It is best to do it in that order because if you mop first and then try to walk around and clean all the cabinets, you end up just tracking all the dirt from outside in the trailer onto your clean floors. Three of the four steps are complete. Just swept out the trailer. You guys saw we used the blower and then I just got done wiping down all the cabinets. Nice and shiny. It really just depends on the racetrack that you're going to. Fortunate enough at Cottage Grove, it wasn't too dusty or windy in the pits. Sometimes they will go to places where maybe the material in the pit area isn't that good or like I said, it gets dusty, it gets windy, and then everything is just a complete mess. So I just used a little bit of glass cleaner. Now, like I said, we are moving on to the last step, which is mopping the inside of the race trailer. Now for that, obviously I'll be using a mop and then I'll just spray a little bit of simple green and some water on the floor. This stuff really does a good job. So we're gonna start with that project and then we will be moving on to the race car. The race car is all clean and the inside of the sprint car trailer is all clean. That mop really did a good job. The cabinets look really, really nice. I made sure to grab a pair of slides to wear right now so I don't really get this thing too dirty or try not to leave any footprints. This was one of the main things I wanted to show you guys in this video. I didn't want to make the same wash day vlog as I did about two weeks ago. I wanted to show you how we clean the inside of the sprint car trailer. We start off, got to use the broom, got to sweep out all the dirt, then use the blower, wipe down all the cabinets, and then mop the floor. It's a super simple process and it's something we have to do after every single race because I'm not necessarily a clean freak, but I like it to look nice in here. But now though, we just have one more thing to do in today's video and that is dismount two tires. Before we go and do that though, I'm gonna shut both doors here on the race trailer. When a racetrack takes rubber, your tires kinda look something like this usually after the race. At Cottage Grove on Saturday night, I really didn't conserve my tires at all. Maybe I should have, but I was just really going for it. You know, they were used tires to start the night off with, so it wasn't like we had brand new tires on and we were gonna be able to use them again. And the rubber came in so much that it was just hammered down. Everyone was fast. I could have put my mom or dad in the 18T and they probably could have maybe won the race. But to end today's video, I gotta dismount these two tires. Got those two tires dismounted. Like I said, absolutely junk. Definitely gonna get rid of these. 
Well, that is really it for today's video and our day working here outside inside the shop type deal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. We started off with kind of unloading the trailer, got everything out, and then started washing. Got the inside of the trailer clean, got the car cleaned, as well as all the panels and wings. You also saw earlier in the vlog, we had a little bit of a detour. We poured a little bit of water in the radiator to see how much we lost on Saturday. And then we decided to also drain the oil. And then to end today's video, we decided to dismount the two tires that we ran during the feature. One left rear, one right rear, both of them absolutely smoked from the rubber. Let me know if you guys want more vlogs like this in the future of us cleaning and working in the shop. I'll see you guys all in the next video. I appreciate the support and stay tuned for more here coming this week as we get into the racing weekend. See you guys all in the next one. Deuces.